Hey guys, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human part number two. Um, my voice is slightly screwed, I got a slight cold, I apologise. Uh, the first episode, if you guys missed it, go and watch that. Um, it was a little bit slow, but it was just sort of setting up the characters a little bit. I was probably a little bit harsh. From what I've heard though, this game really gets going. So I'm really excited to play more. Leave a like on the video. This series might be um, a little bit like just, just us playing it. Just constant. I'm not going to keep stopping it and just sort of, here's part three. I'm just going to keep playing it and I'll do like sort of random cuts here and there. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's continue. Leave a like on the video and let's do this. It does say no androids. And he's definitely an android. Uh, also no dogs. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. I don't think we have an option. This could go bad. Lieutenant Anderson. Where are you, my friend? Scan some faces. So let's get a slightly better angle. Let's scan this face first. That is not the right individual. Born in 1925, Administrator Edward. What about the uh, the guy serving, the bartender? Uh, I can't seem to go... Oh, there's something covering his face. Damn it! What is that? It's the American flag! Oh, there you go. Um, a business owner. Good for you, my friend. Mismatch. That's not the right, the right guy. Need to find the right individual. That is definitely not the right person. Delivery driver. Currently unemployed. Criminal record. Domestic abuse. Well, well, well. Oh. Whoa, we're getting some looks. Hello, guys. Just gonna casually scan your face, don't mind me. Dennis Ward, accountant, currently unemployed. I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a theme here. And let me guess, a lot of this is due to androids. Ugh. Could get a little bit tense. Chris Roberts, unemployed again. Yeah, I'm seeing a massive theme. Can I scan this guy's face? I can't get. Oh, we can. Sweet. We have not found the target yet. Let's scan this guy. Who are you? Oh, come on, where is this guy? Again, unemployed. DUI. What is that? What's that stand for? I'm not sure. I forgot. No. Where is this guy? This guy with the beard here, there's lots of hair. Can I scan him? I'll give it a go. We found him. Whoa. Police lieutenant. Look at that hair compared to the picture. What happened to him? Introduce yourself. Lieutenant Anderson. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a CyberLife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I recognize this guy. Listen, Reason. I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Oh, great. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, 
The same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. I did. are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Do we follow? Do we stay? Josh Douglas for I'm fine staying. Can you confirm that this I'm getting out. Outside. Screw this. I'm not confirming anything. I've got my orders. I'm an android. Oh, it's a drone. Is he nice that? Where is he? Yeah, I recognize that. This lieutenant. 100% as I smash my mic. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your Whoops. order contradicted my instructions, lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around 8 from the landlord. The lieutenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell! It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time, they hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. Imagine I'll be outside the smell. If you need oh, oh, three weeks. So they reckon an android did this. Hmm. Where should we start? So, each what letter is, this? is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Is it far Chris, too neat? is this written in the victim's blood? But I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. It does look very neat, doesn't it? Almost perfect. Android-like. Nice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Let's start scanning. Examine. Really neat. Sample. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. <laughs> I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. Oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Does it link? It does. Analyze. I am alive. I am not an android. Hey Mike, you finished taking samples there? 
Interesting. Yeah, that's it. And that is the body. So it's been slashed multiple times. It's got some facial hair. Red eyes. That's some kind of drug. Eye. So he may have been wounded. So he's five to six. Obviously quite weighty. Estimated time of death. 11.30 p.m. Carlos. Slash wounds. Internal bleeding. Eight, 28. 28 stab wounds. Dear Lord. I feel like Batman. I can scan. Fingerprints. What was that? Sorry. I missed that. Uh, criminal record. Theft and aggravated assault. Let's try and reconstruct it. So. Fast forward. What can we see here? What's happened? He's wearing sandals. He fell over. The victim fell here. Okay. What happened here? That's where he got stabbed. The victim was stabbed there. And there's the guy with the knife. They came from the kitchen. I think that's all the clues we can get. And there's the knife. The murder weapon, which is on the floor, currently. Very he clever android. 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Yeah, 28's quite a bit. Let's analyze the blood. I'm guessing it does match. No fingerprints. Ah. Guess who doesn't have fingerprints? The human with gloves. Leather gloves. Or. Or latex gloves. Whatever. Or an android. Interesting. There was something over here. Some kind of drug. So that's the red crystal that we saw around this sort of mouth area. Red eyes. else on the floor here. Ah, oh, the blood. It's the blood. Dried blood. Okay. So we're slowly getting through all the clues. Got six more to find. So this is where he came in. Stabbed the victim. Open. Just outside. There's a gate there. Is that where he came through? Big. What was that? Feel? Oh, a footprint. K52s. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. All well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Deviant didn't escape that way. Hmm. Right. Where next? This is a table. Perhaps where they struggled. Done so well this. The way they put it all together. Signs of a struggle. Like I said, see, I'm a detective. You know it. What is that? A bat? Ooh. Perhaps a defense weapon that failed. Fingerprints. Carlos again. Is that blood or a dent? Okay, let's try and reconstruct it. So, where are we? So, I think he tries to use this like, as a way to defend himself. Deviant took the knife. Oh, they had a fire. Bat was involved. He tried to fight back. Boom! Ran the head. Boom! He grabbed the knife from the wall. And 28 stab wounds later. Slap. D 
Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. Oh. So they reckon Carlos attacked it first. Shoot! Wow. Okay then. Still got some more evidence to find. We will not stop. This case is not solved. Uh, so what is this? Is that... What is that? Is that... Oh, dried blood. Carlos again. So it's 8, 19 days old. What have we got? What's that? Gossip Weekly. Android sex officially better. Okay. Don't quite believe that. Um, <laughs> Android sex officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat, apparently. The results of a survey is in, and it's official. 68% of men prefer sex with androids. Women get worried. Potentially, women prefer sex with androids as well. Who knows? Let's not go into this too much. I've probably just got demonetized. Yay! Just what I wanted. So that's where the knife was grabbed from. Anything else for us to search? Ah, is that just the, the mag? That's the mag. A window. I don't think that's a clue. I don't think it got in that way. Anything around here? We've missed, is that some more dry blood? Yeah. Oh, that's it already. One more to find. One more clue. Ooh. There is a document here. It just is a little bit awkward to be around sometimes, as you can probably tell. Eden Club. He liked his androids, didn't he? Lucky like might have wanted sexy time with the android or wanted to replace the android. Oh, one sec. Gone into the bathroom. What is this text? Obsessive writing. Is that from the androids? Or from Colossus? A religious offering. This must be the last clue. Okay. Hmm. Yep, that's all the evidence. 100% done. So I just found this back here, by the way. So the kitchen's there. I just walked down here. And that was the last clue. I right, speak to the lieutenant. And talk about my findings. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... Um, in the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... Uh, with a bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Uh, the android stabbed the victim. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Defense, yes. Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... Uh, the living room, I believe. The living room? Tried to escape. Ooh. That is exactly what happened. And he tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. Um, with a knife. With the knife. Ooh. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some theory. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. 
It's the fluid that powers Android's biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Search for blue blood. Where did it go? So there's slight evidence there. So it goes round the back. Let's find where this blue blood goes. Into the kitchen. Don't mind me. Where's it go? Aha! Back down here. Can we scan here? Yeah, okay, look, evidence here. Examine. Is it like a secret bit somewhere? Ah, a ladder was used. It's gone through the, the roof. You clever little android. Should we open it? Oh, that was a bit spooky. Perhaps use one of those chairs. In the barrel for you. No, we can use perhaps one of those chairs in the kitchen. And then climb up. Still there. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. That will do. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. We're going to see where the android went. Check something. still in here is it no it's in the loft still in there you've got to be kidding me this got spooky all of a sudden perhaps we should call for reinforcements yeah it's still there oh come on man don't do this to me didn't know this was a horror game. I don't like this. I don't like this. Can you not scan for it or something? Oh, it's definitely up here. We saw movement. There's nowhere to go. Chill. Deviant located. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. Come on! I thought he was going to decide. Nope. He just comes out and says it. All right, then. Didn't quite expect that. We... Did we miss a few bits? Apparently we did. There's a few things we did miss. But that was fun. I enjoyed that. Proper like Batman detective mode. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. That will be the end of this episode. I'll see you guys soon for the next one. Bye-bye.